Hi, so Trini London have kindly sent me this box of goodies to try out. Let's see what you think. So the idea behind Trini's makeup collection, I think, was she was doing lots of traveling. Obviously, she's worked with women from all different shapes, sizes, styles, etc., for donkey's years. And um, she was struggling with her own makeup and tended to sort of mix um, a stick foundation with a liquid just to get the right consistency for what she wanted. And after a few years of doing that, thought, this is a bit silly. I'm just going to create my own makeup range um, to be exactly as I want it to. So I think the idea behind stacks is that it's completely portable and you can equally mix them to get the exact consistency that you want or that you like to wear on your own skin. So before I do any makeup, the first thing I do is a bit of eye cream and moisturizer. I don't know if you've seen this on Instagram, at Fashion Style Edit. Um, I'm not hugely brand loyal on these because I do think that if you change up your moisturizer every couple of months, it sort of revives your skin a bit more. I might be completely wrong and I've got no scientific evidence for that whatsoever. It's just my own little theory. So at the moment I am using Airsop, um, which is the Primrose Fa Facial Hydrating Cream. And I love that. It smells beautiful, but also feels really nice and rich, which I like on my skin because it's quite dry. The other thing I use on a daily basis is the Willowberry Nutrient Boost Treatment Oil. This is amazing, actually. My skin is so dry. I mean, I've got eczema on my hands and kind of get a little bit on my arms. But my skin on my face is so dry that I feel like I need this on a daily basis. I don't think everybody would need to do it every morning before makeup, but certainly if you've got really dry skin, this is what I would highly recommend. Eye cream at the moment, I'm using Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. Obviously it says midnight, but I use it in the day. I don't really think that's gonna make a huge amount of difference. Um, so just to dab a little bit under my eyes. So let's do that first. So even if you spend do you know, I'm just going to address the fact that they're cutting trees outside. So sorry about that noise, but um, they don't seem to care whether I'm making a YouTube video or not. So just dab that on, pressing it around this orbital bone. You can feel your orbital bone because it goes all the way around in a circle. This is very much the before version because I'm showing you without makeup, which is particularly shocking. Okay, so I find that when you're putting concealer on and then you've got foundation and all that kind of thing, if I don't put an eye cream on beforehand, you kind of get that dry, kind of flaky look around your eyes, certainly as you get a little bit older, which is never a good look for anybody. So lots of eye cream, lots of moisturizer, just helps it sort of soak in a little bit better. Um, I've got all these weird pimple things going on on my forehead. I don't, it's something to do with sunshine, that when you get a tan, maybe it's all the sun cream. It leaves you with kind of, I don't know if you can see, kind of that pimply forehead. So any tricks to get rid of that would be greatly appreciated. I've tried exfoliating, but it doesn't seem to be doing it. Right, so we're fully moisturised up. I'd already put my facial oil on this morning, so I don't need to apply any more of that. So foundation, I don't really ever wear foundation. Um, simply because I don't like feeling like I've got absolutely tons on my skin. It feels heavy and too thick and I know it's trendy, lots of young girls are wearing so much makeup, but personally for me, I prefer skin to look healthy and a bit dewy and I'd hate to feel so caked in makeup that you can barely move your face. So I definitely don't ever wear foundation in the day. Sometimes if I'm going out at night, I will use it. Sometimes in winter, if um, I'm really pale, just brightens up my skin. But I'd only ever use the MAC Face and Body or something similar because it's really light, just gives you a quick sort of dewy glow. Um, and that's probably enough for me. Anything thicker than that and I feel like I'm caked. So first up from Trini London is the BFF Cream, which hopefully you can see there. So it's quite light. There we go. So this is probably the perfect thing for me because it's essentially a bit of a tinted moisturizer by the sounds of it. Um, so I'm gonna hydrate, boost, radiance, and wake up tired skin, including getting rid of dark circles. So as you can see, we need a bit of that. And it's white, which is really weird. So how is that going to work? I'm not sure, but, oh, not so tiny bit. Let's just lather it on everywhere. There wasn't a concealer in the Trini London box, so 
I'm going to use one that I usually use, um, which is the Clarins Instant Concealer. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I need to get some more concealer because it's very nearly run out. And then with your ring finger, um, dab a tiny bit and then go to where you need it most to conceal. Again, kind of like the eye cream on that orbital bone. Then I like to take it onto the top of my eye as well, just to kind of get rid of any sort of blue tone from veins and etc. Right, so eyeshadow. I have got the Sun Eye to Eye. So I'm gonna start putting a bit of this on. So I'm just gonna put that over my lid there. Really nice and natural, which is kind of how I like to wear my makeup. I'm just gonna layer a little bit more. When you've got a bit of a tan from the summer, I do think that brown eyeshadow looks really lovely. So I'll keep my, my whole makeup really quite natural and just add an, a nice sort of brown eyeshadow and sometimes use bronzer actually on my eyes, uh, which looks quite nice. So then on to Starlight, which is the right light, which is essentially a bit of a highlighter, um, which I really like highlighters actually, because I think if you're certainly trying to go for that natural dewy look, um, it's a great way to just highlight the bits you want and get rid of the bits you don't. So I will do a little bit of highlight up here and then just kind of on this arch of the eyebrow there. So obviously you could add powder at this stage if you don't like it looking too dewy. But personally for me, this is my favorite kind of look when your skin looks, it looks fresh. We've made it look even with the BFF cream, but if we put powder on now, then I'm gonna look very matte and it will tend to go a little bit drier. So I prefer to keep it nice and moist, looks a bit more plump. So next up is the Golden Glow and I've got it in the shade Sawala. So you can see the color there. So if you smile, that's always a nice way of getting your bronzer or blusher kind of in that apple area of your skin. And I like dabbing it because if you start smearing, you're gonna smear off everything else that you put on before. So just dab it in. And then we're gonna take it up here. If you kind of, if you're confused about the bits to put blusher on or bronzer on, try and think of it as, um, so it's the bits that would tan the most naturally. So anything that's sticking out. So your nose gets the most sun, your cheekbones, your forehead around this edges here, that's where tans the most. So that's the most obvious place to put your bronzer. And then, I don't know why, but I quite like to put a tiny bit <laughs> of bronzer under my nose. Someone once told me, if you've got quite a long nose, if you put a bit of bronzer or blusher under your nose and sort of lift it up, it makes it a bit shorter. So I'm in the habit of doing that. I don't know if it's true. Oh, what's that? Sorry, that's a spot. So a little bit under your chin. So I've got quite a long face. So lift the chin, lift the nose, and then on all the other bits that are sticking out as such. Now, I'm actually gonna give that a go and put that on my eyes as well, because I do do that a lot with bronzers because I like the shades of bronzers as an eyeshadow. So you want your lighter color on the inside and your darker color on the outside. I'm gonna go back to the starlight because it did say on the instructions to put a tiny bit just in the center of your eye. And I do like to do that with a highlighter, but I like to do it after I've done all the eyeshadow, just because I think if it's the final thing that you put on around your eyes, it'll set a little bit better. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to the corner there. So there wasn't any mascara in the box, so I just use a well-worn little tube there of Maybelline, um, which is the waterproof Great Lash. Okay, so mascara is now done. Just a little bit on there, as you can see. So now I think we'll do uh, lips. So we've got two lip pots here. Um, the first one we're meant to use is Lip Love, which I've got in the color Sasha. And the second one is the Lip Glow in Maddie. So you're meant to do Lip Love first and then the gloss on top. So let's see what that looks like. 
So quite a bit of colour on my finger there, but you'll see when you put it on, it doesn't ever come out quite so strong. I don't normally wear lipstick, um, so I'm not used to it at all. So this is something different for me to try, um, but I think I'm going to like this. I think that looks quite nice. Um, it's not over the top, it's not bright red, um, but just a little something. And what I tend to do um, with, lip, with um, lipstick, certainly with the moist ones like this one from Trini London, is whatever I've got left on my finger, just rub it off a little bit on my the back of my hand. And just for a tiny bit of blush, and also for that dewy look, use the tiny bit of excess on those apple bits there. So just by using these products here, I've managed to do my entire makeup, aside from mascara, which is pretty impressive. Um, and if you look, I think that's really nice and subtle, really dewy kind of look, a little bit golden, um, just my cup of tea.